What's up, everybody? Welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. What is going on, guys? Today we are back with Allegheny City Farms. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of I know both of our personal favorites. Um, have never had a bad sauce, not even close from <laughs> this uh, master. Come out of here. Um, another really cool dude. Um, that little metalhead. Um, great products, great dude. Um, also, he's got a kid just a few months older than me, so that's pretty awesome to see. <laughs> kind of going through the same journey. So, uh, Tom, awesome. Um, but yeah, Allegheny Sea Farms, I know a lot of you guys probably have already heard this. We've done <laughs> pretty much everything that he has. Um, so now we are doing his taco sauce. Nice. Um, this is <laughs> easily one of my um, go-tos for tacos or anything like tacos. Okay. Right. I normally don't try the sauces before we do them on the shows, but like <laughs> I've been through honestly probably like seven, eight bottles of this. Yeah. So, but anyways, let's get into this. Um, <laughs> this is not perforated so that's the only thing i could really think of to say bad there's no perforation on the label it's just, on the seal it's just a bummer it's it's one it's a tiny thing it's a hiccup it's a little thing you know probably to most but for some reason it's just, to us <laughs> it's a mighty big thing to us <laughs> um so as you can see it's it's a little thicker it's not watery, it's, definitely. But it still moves around, mm -hmm. so that's good. To be honest, it's ideal for me for like a taco-like sauce. Um, there is not much chunks or flecks. There is some seeds in here, yeah, a little see. bit. But otherwise, it's a pretty smooth sauce. Um, ingredients, we got water, chipotle peppers, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, agave syrup, chili powder, garlic, salt, white pepper, onion, and cumin. So, nice. yeah, those are pretty basic and good ingredients that you want to see. <laughs> you want that cumin in there. I definitely, yeah. I'm, I'm always happy to see the cumin in there. I'm a big cumin fan. And I just want this to be known also. I'm not a big Chipotle fan because I'm not a big fan of smoked flavored type things in Chipotle's. It kind of comes with that territory. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... I don't mind it, though. So, overall, I'm usually not a fan of those. That was a good pop. That was, that a, was a pop. That was a good seal. Tom, always doing this. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know why I smelled it, because I've smelled seven or eight bottles of it already, but... Oh. Like, when you go to a Mexican restaurant or something, um, most of the time you're going to see what? Like... Um, El Yucateco, um, Cholula, you know, you're going to mostly see those. Or their homemade sauce. Or yeah. their homemade. Yeah, but, but uh, like this, to me, is honestly, I think, what I think of like an authentic, just basic, good Chipotle taco sauce. Yeah, and, that, and that's the main thing I'm picking up from it right out the gate when I'm smelling it. It's like that very strong chipotle flavor, that's that chipotle smell. Uh, and then, what was the other one else? Tomato. The tomato tomato paste. definitely. Tomato definitely. So, that's what gives it the nice body. Yeah, it smells about the same in the bottle on the spoon. Um, it even just has a smooth, like, smell to it. Yeah. Like, it just smells smooth. Hmm. Cheers. Oh, yes. So good. And that is honestly what I love about it. Is that it's just once again he don't need to like reinvent the wheel with this. He's just taking a, a good, basic like Chipotle sauce, but then putting the Allegheny City Farms touch to it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, for me, personally, I mean, 
that really is the main thing I'm. <coughs> Woo! Ugh. Something about that smokiness of chipotle kind of got to me <laughs> after a little bit. That's the main thing I'm picking up on is uh, really the chipotle in there, some of that tomato flavor. Um, some of the other stuff going on in there is kind of like balancing it out, kind of rounding it out a little bit, but uh, all in all, that's mainly the thing, that's mainly what I'm getting from it. It's just like a really strong chipotle type uh, type deal. Yeah. Yeah, I get yeah the chipotle, the tomato, and the garlic. Those three stand out the most to me. Um, and like I said, me not being a Chipotle fan, I really like this because it's blended nicely. It is not overpowering. It's nice, smooth, yeah. Heat-wise, it's it's down there. It's really um, down there. It's not definitely not going to blow you away. Um, an average person, it. Mm, I mean, maybe. I, I'm. I'd probably go with a a two to a three for me. So an average person might think it. It's gonna be just like, oh, that's the thing. It's getting spicy. Yeah, like it, like it has a little extra kick to it. But uh, yeah, two max for me. Uh, it's just um, yeah. You know, I guess you know it's has a little bit of heat to it, so it'll add some some heat. Um, so I think anybody will be obviously anybody will be able to handle it. Um, and like I said, I I kind of overuse it when I'm using it because the heat is a little lower, and I love that flavor. <laughs> Like I said last week, I used three quarters of a bottle just in one sitting. It goes quick, so when you order this, um, try to get like a cup, because you're gonna want. He and he he usually uh, he has deals quite a bit throughout the year, so keep an eye out for those. Because just a little, oh man, did you? I don't know if you saw that, but just like a week or so ago, he had his uh, flavor bomb series. Four sauces, it was for like 20 or 25 bucks. Yeah, that's a pretty good And those are some of the best sauces out there. Yeah, especially that, that habanero spark in oh, there. Oh, God, the, the habanero, habanero spark. spark. <sighs> Love that habanero All spark. Right, let's not turn this into another habanero <laughs> yeah. spark episode. The taco sauce, great stuff all around. Like we said, the heat isn't too much. Overall, um, I feel with a good solid four horns for this. Um, I, I use this a lot, personally. The only, the only thing that might give it a five, but that's just me. This is a little hotter. Um, but otherwise, this stuff is amazing. It is one of my go-to. Um, you know, for me, I'm to be fully honest with you, uh, it's sitting at about three and a half for me. Um, basically, um, like I said, for me, the main thing I'm picking up on is really that chipotle. So it's really just like a kind of chipotle flavor, chipotle sauce. Mm -hmm. I would probably just title it as such. Um, and then the heat too, you know, it was just kind of, um, not that present for me personally. So it's, um, yeah, I think all in all, it was just okay. It's not, it's not, not a bad sauce or anything. I can definitely see it on tacos and stuff, but it's not, it wouldn't be an immediate go-to for me if I'm thinking tacos and such. And, I think and this other, would other be of that nature. a great enchilada sauce. Yeah, yeah, just, right. You could use a whole bottle. <laughs> But, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, it's another one. This is called the taco sauce, and that's what you're getting. <laughs> so check it out, and check all of his other stuff out. He's always doing great stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you want to see P and these, keep seeing these videos, um, hit that subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, uh, leave a comment, let us know what you think of this stuff. It's been out for a little while now. Um, give us a like. And uh, as always, keep it out and heavy. <laughs>